Men of Florida, what's it like knowing that you have the power to become the next Florida man? Don't hold yourself back. You don't have to be from Florida to be the next Florida man. Florida man is mindset. Florida man is a lifestyle. Embrace it? Can a woman be Florida man too? The Florida man knows no gender or species in some cases. I am the Florida man. Ask not for who Florida man is. Florida man is the. We are an anarcho-syndicalist commune. We take it in turns to act as sort of executive officer for the week but all the decisions of that officer have to be ratified at a special bi-weekly meeting by a simple majority in the case of purely internal affairs but by a two-thirds majority in the case of more Floridian here. Every state would look as fucked up as Florida if they had the same level of transparency with the records that are made public. Right, because all the incidents of men on bath salts eating people's faces just don't get reported in other states. No, seriously, it's true. Florida has the strongest public records laws in the country, and probably the most transparent government in the country because of it. Literally everything is public record and easily accessible online. This has the side effect of allowing Florida man stories to appear more common relative to other states because everything is public record. Florida doesn't have more crazies. We just don't hide the monsieur. Edit. And former Florida governor and senator Lawton Chiles was responsible for helping to strengthen federal public record laws by amending the Freedom of Information Act to make all government meetings public. With few exceptions, Florida is a great example for how to have a transparent government. Correct. It feels powerful. Nobody knows when I will snap and become Florida man. Watch out local news station. You'll be running an article about some stupid shit I did using an alligator and a cat toy if you're not careful. This inspired me to become the first Wisconsin man. I feel like Florida man is that crazy but lovable guy that goes off the rails. Winston's and man is a straight up serial killer. As a fellow Floridian, I know a real Florida man, who is actually a woman. My own mother is a fearsome badass. Her two hobbies are hunting alligators and making them into jewelry and beekeeping. She made a shield out of alligator skin once, and it worked. She got the idea from another woman in Florida. I don't remember her her name, but I believe she is also a Florida man. There's a little Florida man in all of us, not waiting to be set free by bath salts, but because a real Florida man was high in the hot dog factory and feel in the meat grinder. My title won't last long so it's practically useless. It terrifies me. Every day slipping slowly into madness. What if I start going everywhere with an alligator? What if I get naked, put a beer bottle in my ass and then decide to flee from the police? What if I teach a python to play the flute? What if I decide to ride a pig wearing overalls down I-75? What if I do B-A-T-H-S-A-L-T-S and eat some poor motherfucker's face? Can't tell. Too busy coffin. With great amounts of booze comes great jail terms. With great power comes great irresponsibility. It's an awesome responsibility, we have to resist the temptation to abuse it. Makes me a little insecure. But I'm a pacifist who would never receive the title. My best friend's father works for the ER and he has had a first-hand experience with a Florida man. Is there a subreddit where all these artist cells are posted and shared? Please tell me there is one. You will never receive a greater title unless you become president. Florida man is an initiation into the crazy swamp redneck community. I've had a couple close calls so now I keep to myself and don't drink at all. Florida man was spotted in Ohio trying to cash in his winning Florida lottery ticket in Ohio. Genuinely, it empowers me to do stupid stuff sometimes. Whenever I'm debating the risks and pros of doing something questionable, one of the pros is that I might get a Florida Man article out of it LMFAO. No luck yet though. Empowering. Florida Man is not a gender. It's a state of mind. 
The status of Florida men is gender neutral. Despite the obvious wording, please, based on competition you are likelier to get drafted into the NBA than be the Florida man. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I mean, being a Florida man takes some serious fear and stupidity. No normal person can handle that power. I feel like I could take on the whole military while on crack with just my fists in an alligator. As a man living in Florida, I find this meme joke really fucking old and stupid. The Florida man will choose its rightful successor. It will blank out your memory without you knowing of such divinity. That's how the legacy of the Florida man is. With great power comes great responsibility. But can you be as Florida man as Carl Tanzler, the first Florida man? You guys got Florida man and I get crappy weather? Ohio yawned here. Ohio is so bland. Why? I'm not being facetious, I just really want to know. You know how Canada is on the other side of Lake Erie. Tornado ally to the west moving east. Mountains southeast, the Gulf of Mexico south right? All that together gives Ohio some of the fastest changing weather in the area that I know of. We even have a joke up here where if you don't like the weather go inside for 5 minutes and go back. Out in the weather has most likely changed. Dot dot dot. What else? Well we have corn but the crazy weather is the main thing along with Ohio being the birthplace of aviation. Trying hard to avoid that sir. I'm from Florida but I immigrated to Canada two years ago. Do I still will count? Asterisk. All free men, wherever they may live, are citizens of Florida. And therefore, as a free man, I take pride in the words it be nine Florida man. Asterisk. It gives me the resolve to do what I must. Everybody wants to be famous. But nobody wants to do the work. There exists the potential to be the next Florida man. This isn't something you hop out of bed, throw on some jorts, take a bump of powder, and just asterisk do asterisk, redneck Riviera in the panhandle, little Latin America down south, and dirty Duval might be three different worlds but putting in that work and improving off each. Other is how they become great. Center of the state doesn't get a lot of love but they're right there in spirit. And with methamphetamine, I really don't even need to mention the unmatched, unbridled audacity of the conch republic. The thing is that people think you need to be born here to be one. Our snowbird program brings the best and brightest in insanity from northern states every winter. Hell, we get degens from upcountry in Canada. Some of the best Florida men have been walk-offs from the Greyhound bus. If you wanna take a shot at the title you wake up every damn day trying to make those that came before proud, actually, only one in five are Floridians. The rest are transplants. Actually, only one in five are Floridians. The rest are transplants. Florida man lives everywhere. The sunshine laws here just make it easier to find fluff pieces for dumb arrests. Stupid and crazy isn't a Florida thing. Just national public embarrassment about your stupid and crazy is. Florida man lives everywhere. The sunshine laws here just make it easier to find fluff pieces for dumb arrests. Stupid and crazy isn't a Florida thing. Just national public embarrassment about your stupid and crazy is. Cool, because anything goes on F-L-O-R-R-I-D-D-A-A. And are bath salt still popular? To be fair I think most of the crazies are transients from other states. Also it's hot as fuck. Ranch BLT only at Wendy's. I don't live here anymore. Whoa, hopefully most of us try to avoid it, but probably not. We are Florida man. I got hit by a car once, landed on my feet and walked my wrecked bike home. I already feel the Floridian power in my veins. Feels good man. With great power comes absolutely no responsibility. I am not gonna lie I feel like shit. But then again I always feel like shit. Then again I ain't even from Florida. It's crazy man. Every time I hit the meth pipe I gotta be cognizant that hey. I'm out here representing my state and community here. End up like going viral and bullshit. It's a feeling of great power but also great responsibility. 
We all can't be Florida man, otherwise batshit crazy would be the norm and therefore would not make the news. No the order of Florida man upholds the standard of who gets to bestow the greatest honor. Hold on, I gotta call 911 to brag about my muscles. The urge to commit fuckery grows stronger each day and I am powerless to resist it. I know that if I do not escape this place I will eventually end up on the roof of a Taco Bell doing Molly or something. My days are numbered. More like how does it feel trying every day not to get caught up in a Florida man story. Every day someone insults me in a call center I am a little bit closer to becoming Florida man in the worst way possible. With great power comes great hilarity. It feels even better not being a Florida man so that Florida men can hand me the reins. I fucking hate this state. It's hot. It's humid. It's moldy. It's filled with spiders and mosquitoes. The only good thing about this place are the people and some of the hunting. Going to college in Michigan in the fall. And I cannot fucking wait. If COVID takes this from me. I will go down in legend as the Florida man who attacked China with an army of alligators in retaliation for Corona. With great power comes great responsibility. I have yet to reach maturity within my phenomenal abilities. And as such, am restricted to wrestling alligators and burning cypress knees. It is tantalizing. It is an unbelievable power that you have to restrain yourself from monsieur sometime I unicycle to work and hope I get struck by lightning so that I may become Florida man. Florida man is not just a label, it's a way of life that opens a world of possibilities. Tempting. I don't think anyone is ever gonna beat the guy who threw a gator into a Wendy's. As someone who moved to FL two years ago at age 35, I feel like I've waited my whole life for this opportunity. I won't let you down. You don't get to choose if you become Florida Man, the title chooses you. Florida Man has a small penis but make it up in an expensive power boat. As a guy not from the USA, this is as hilarious as good-natured banter can get. I did not know even I could be Florida Man. Keep up the hilarity. WTF is a Florida Man? This is the first I've heard of it. Remember that alligator that was roaming around with a knife stuck in his head? Who do you think put it there? Me motherfucker. Do you have superhuman strength, endurance, eccentricity, and immortality? There's only one way to find out. We always hold the power in us. Shit just last week my friend almost became Florida man. I watched this fucker grab 8 feet gator's tail while it was sunbathing on the bank. And that gator ran for its life. As a Florida kid, you can get away with anything. You want to burn a house down. Do it. You want to toss a crock through a school window. So it, Florida is Florida. Do what you wish. You challenging me? Well at the moment I am planning on doing something and I mean it for real I don't care if I get arrested for some time and no one will convince me to not to do my plan it maybe will be crazier than the story of that guy who I think was in Miami and literally attacked a homeless man and scared him bit off pieces of his face but maybe I will convince myself to better not try it say if you don't hear something crazy from Florida I probably will have considered not doing it it's a fine line truly it's pretty liberating to know that the bar is so low. I'm gonna need a lot more meth to fulfill my true destiny. I often plan what could be the next Florida man. I bet they welcomed the anonymity. In any other state, they would be plastering your name all over the news. I just hope that someday I can fulfill my destiny as a Florida man and be able to achieve such an amazing yet scary power. I'm a white guy in the forest of central Florida. It's basically where Florida man is made, like our homeland. But having the Florida man potential is pretty cool in my book. I don't know seems like there's a lot of competition there. Actually, only one in five are Floridians. The rest are transplants. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.